taking in clomiphene every single day is like doing a chest workout seven days a week and wondering why your gains disappear faster than LeBron's hairline. I had a trucker I talked to about eight months ago or so, been hammering and clomiphene daily like it was his morning multivitamin. His testosterone numbers look better than Kobe's career stats, but he felt worse than a Cowboys fan watching the Redskins win the Super Bowl. Yeah, I refuse to call him the commanders. Mood swings more unpredictable than gas prices, brain fog thicker than Seattle clouds, and his libido ghosted him harder than that Bumble match after she saw what she looked like in real life. But here's what these internet hormone experts and even some docs aren't telling you. Taking in clomiphene dailies like working your employees 80 hours a week. Sure, great productivity at first, but eventually they're going to burn out. Your estrogen receptors need recovery time, just like your muscles do after a heavy leg day. Daily use creates a constant blockade of the estrogen receptors in your brain and tanks the very things that you're trying to optimize. It's like hiring a bouncer that never takes breaks and doesn't even let the VIPs in the club. So the smarter play is actually treating your hormones like interval training. Strategic hits with recovery periods. Dose in every other day or three to four times a week lets your brain reset between rounds. And it's just as effective at raising testosterone levels. Our docs combine it with DHEA for the building blocks. Add some critical key nutrients for support. And suddenly you're not just fielding one all-star, you're building a championship dynasty. Your endocrine system's a jazz ensemble, not a one-man death metal band. Stop treating it like you're trying to break the sound barrier when you should be conducting a symphony.